What's up everybody? This is Eric from East Computer Solutions. So I'm doing a follow-up video on a 7-inch laptop by PicaGo. It's been a very good type of experience so far and I really do like this computer. But one of the biggest downfalls of having this small laptop is that it's running Windows 10 S and you cannot run EXE programs. Only thing you can do is uh, download apps from the Microsoft Store. So that's a bummer. And I understand why they did that because it's running an atom processor, but it has eight gigs of RAM and they're doing it for speed and security. But I wanna run EXE programs. So in my previous video, I say that you would have to pay for Microsoft Windows 10. I was wrong. In the app store, I can update this device from Windows 10 S to a full version of Windows. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I wanna give a shout out to Zachary Webb uh, one of the users hit me up in the comments and said, easy. Yes, you can run Windows 10 on there. You can download it from the Microsoft Store. Thank you very much for giving me that information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download Windows 10, the full version, and I'm going to give you my user experience. Also, I'm going to download Dex because, you know, I love Dex on Windows, link to Windows, and I'm going to give you guys some more user experience using this laptop. Again, 8 gigs of RAM in here, 128 gigs of storage, you got a touch screen and it's running Windows 10 S and it's a pretty good laptop. I mean, very lightweight and it's, I mean, it's good. So let me go ahead and install Windows 10 on this computer and I'll uh, give you my experience. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. All right, guys, so I went into the Microsoft Store, I searched for it, and here it is, right? Switch out of S mode. And what this does is it gives you Windows 10, give you the freedom to uh, do all kinds of things, download EXE programs and stuff like that. And you can do it for free. Now, I know in my previous video, I said that you would have to pay for it, but I was wrong. Here you go, you can download it out of S mode for free. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna download the full version of Windows 10. Now, here's a disclaimer. It tells you right here, once you switch out of Windows 10 S, you cannot go back to Windows 10 S. So this be advised uh, that if you go out of Windows 10 S and go to the full version of Windows, you're unable to go back. Now, remember one of the reasons why you want to stay on Windows 10 S is because of speed and performance and security. But you know what? Let me go on and get it and I'm gonna download it and I'm gonna give you my experience what it is on this laptop. So let's go. All right, guys, so here it is. I just got out of S mode and I do have the full version of Windows 10 on this laptop. And as you can see, I have the full version of Windows 10 home here. Now remember, this laptop here has the Atom uh, X5Z8350 uh, running at 1.44 gigahertz, right? It has eight gigs of RAM. And I think that's the thing that makes this laptop so special that it's running eight gigs of RAM. So uh, let's go on and kind of give you my thoughts about this and look here's the thing it's so funny that uh it does run pretty good uh i mean for atom processor again you're not going to run any high-end games or anything like this but again I, at the beginning of the video i told you guys i wanted to download the exe program so uh one of the things i do want to do is download chrome and so that's one of the, the, the pain points of having this laptop is that I couldn't download Chrome browser because it's an EXE program. So let me go to the download Chrome browser here and, uh, and I'm gonna go to another app so I can download it. All right guys, so there it is. The full version of Google Chrome is now on this laptop. So now I have the full version of Windows, which is nice. And so far, the user experience has been pretty good. Now, uh, they do recommend you put antivirus software and stuff like that since you're running uh, the full version of Windows. So uh, just be advised of that. But uh, so far, the user experience has been pretty good. Now, look, here's the thing. This is an Atom processor. And so you won't get outstanding fast performance but for what it is it's for so small it is right here it runs very well for that now i do have 
a, a nice little dock on here that I could put uh, USB and I got HDMI out also a USB type C so I have that connected here just by the chance I wanted to do a thumb drive or something like that so the next thing I want to do since I'm already able to run the exe programs I'm going to download the Samsung deck software and I'm gonna see if I could plug it up and see if my Galaxy Note 10 can run DeX via link to Windows here on this device and see if I can run DeX. All right, so it is downloading right now for DeX. And as you can see, it is downloading the DeX software, the EXE program, which is nice. Uh, and I do have fast internet connection, so it's downloading pretty quick here. So as you can see, I'm excited for this because I use, I, when I want to get some work done really quick on the go, if I'm using my Galaxy Note 10 and I'm doing a spreadsheet or, or something like that, and I got this little bitty seven inch laptop, I can use a full flash keyboard with my DeX connected to it. That is the use case scenario. That's why I love DeX so much uh, because it works very well. And especially for this small phone factor, uh, and I know I'm giving up speed and everything. I would love to see how DeX will work on this small phone factor with the add a processor. So that's going to be very interesting to see. So let me go down and download this EXE program uh, on this laptop. That's what I'm talking about. I'm excited for this. All right, guys. So the DEX software is done. And I'm going to tell you that it did take a little while to download. Uh, again, uh, <laughs> But the Atom processor on here, I didn't, I didn't expect uh, that it could it would run pretty fast anyway. So let me go on and plug up my Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and let's see how the DeX software works here on this device. Now, again, I got low expectations here uh, when it comes down to uh, running this software, and I'm going to allow access, and it's asking me on the device to run access. Yes. It's also asking me to run XS. So I'm running the EXE programs. I could not run that before, but I'm running it now. And that go DEX. All right. So again, one of the major purposes of DEX, in my opinion, if I'm working on something on my device and I need a keyboard and a bigger canvas, which I mean, seven inch display, not as big as, uh, you know, a 10 inch or something like that, I can get work done. So this is the DEX environment. And so now I'm running DEX. And I'm, I'm excited for this. Here we go. We got Dex run, running on deck and it's not as fast. And I again, I already made a video about this using low-end laptops using Dex. And yes, you do need to have a pretty high-end PC to run Dex and Dex software. So it does make a big difference uh, when running Dex software on these laptops and stuff. So yeah, I mean, Yes, for S's and giggles, right? For S's and giggles, I'm going to fire up. Uh, I'm going to fire up a game for S's and giggles. I'm going to fire up a game and go from there. And yeah, that is it, it, it won't it won't run. It won't run that well on here. So there it is. Uh, and I know some of y'all guys will always ask the question. Can you run? uh you know these type of things on these devices and listen man you can't do it you just can't do it so no you cannot run games on this so just be advised that you cannot run games on this at all all right so let me tell you guys something i paused the video because dex popped up again after i unplugged everything and it kind of went a little hey why i had to reboot the, the, the laptop listen man this laptop with this Atom processor, even with eight gigs of RAM, this is not made for any high performance uh, with this device. You can't do anything high performance with this. This is a low end tap a computer here to get some work done, but it's not made for high end work. You can do some work on here, but it's not made again for high end productivity type stuff. You cannot play games on here and you cannot do things that a uh, normal PC would do with high end specs. You got to treat it as an Atom processor with eight gigs of RAM. It performs very well at that, uh, with, with the Atom processor with, with eight gigs of RAM, but don't expect to play Fortnite and Modern Combat and stuff like that on this thing. This is not made for that. This is when you want to kick out and get um, some work done using the keyboard and you can use the native apps like Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Spreadsheets, 
right here straight from the PC but no not using Dex it won't work like that but this using the PC for what it is bam it is it is what it is and it will perform very well as is without using all the extra bells and whistles now yes using get exe programs is very important because if you want to do like your printer software or any any kind of external software using exe programs now this pc will work all right this is eric from easy computer solutions this is my follow-up video overall i like this little form factor boom it looks good it feels good and it performs relatively good for low-end getting work done at uh, again this is a kickstarter program i will leave the links down in the description below i don't know how much this costs i've heard that it's going to be you know relatively cheap 300 bucks or something like that but uh for what you get here i think it's i think it's really good and i'm glad i got it i'm glad that they sent this out to me for review and i will continue to use this this is eric from easy computer solutions leave your comments down below let me know what you think about the pika go laptop in all its glory see you guys on the next video peace